ITEMIT Tutorial 23 Import Import is a powerful feature that lets you bulk add and manage your assets. This tutorial will cover everything you need to know. ITEMIT's import feature allows you to import your existing asset data directly into your workspace, so no asset data goes to waste. If you already have a tracking system in place, or you use a spreadsheet, you will be able to utilize this data without having to start from scratch. Import requires your data to be within a CSV file to allow for a successful upload and allows you to import a maximum of 1,000 items. We provide a handy guide to help create your CSV file and ensure the correct fields are inputted to avoid any import errors. To find import within your workspace, click the settings toggle located at the top right hand side. Here you will find import located on the left. Click on this. You can find our detailed data formatting rules linked here, which must be applied to your CSV file in order to complete your import. These rules are very important to follow to ensure a smooth data transmission into your workspace. The formatting rules require specific headings to be used alongside your data. These include name, serial, description, collection, location, text name, date name, currency name, purchase price, purchase date and asset life. You can even import your barcodes, QR tags and RFID tags into the system. Those headers must be added to the first row of your CSV file and in the order listed. The name column is mandatory. This will be what you wish to call your asset. The serial column is optional. If you do not input a serial, ITEMIT will automatically create one for you. In ITEMIT, your assets need to be unique. Because of this, if you are adding your own serials, Every asset needs a unique name and serial combination. You can then add a description alongside collections and locations. If you'd like to learn more about collections and locations, please take a look over our other tutorials, ITEMIT Tutorials 3 and 5. You can also add depreciation information. Simply add purchase price, purchase date and asset life columns to your import and ITEMIT will do the rest. To make the process even simpler, we have provided a handy CSV template available for download. The template includes example data and provides you with the correct headings to input your data into to help complete a valid CSV import. Once your import is ready, you can press on the box which reads drag and drop the import file here and upload your CSV file. When the file has successfully uploaded, you can then select Import. The import process includes two steps. First, the CSV file will be validated. Once validated, the file will then be imported in the background, allowing you to continue using ITEMIT as normal. It's super simple and will not interrupt your ITEMIT session. The import can take between a few seconds and half an hour, depending on how much data you will be importing. As the import is uploaded in the background, you will begin to see items added to your account. The import is completed row by row, from top to bottom. Adding your items has never been easier. To make things even simpler, you can also use an import to overwrite your asset data in bulk. All you need to do is make sure the name and serial on your CSV match the name and serial in ITEMIT and import away. Any changes in your new import will update your ITEMIT data and any new columns will be added. Import, making your asset tracking journey efficient and effortless.